So what I'm looking for at this point is just that next clue, just anything. You know, we're looking for a piece of clothing, we're looking for a phone, just anything that says, go here next. This evening, we're listening to the heart cries of a family desperate to find their missing father. Thanks for tuning in to 2 News at 5. I'm Naomi Kitt. Aaron is on assignment tonight. The Tulsa father disappeared last week, but his truck was found empty in Mohawk Park. 2 News anchor Sharon Phillips takes us to today's latest search for answers. Tulsa police tell us that Mr. Colston's phone pinged in this area. So the Tulsa police dive team has been searching this area of Bird Creek all morning and into the afternoon. Holding each other for comfort, the family of Chris Colston could only watch and wait as dive teams slowly and methodically search Bird Creek. Colston's daughter, Christina, says they're desperate to find him. We're just hoping to get some answers, hoping to find them, bring them home. I discovered before crews got into the water, they carefully walked the outer banks on both sides, looking for any of his belongings. Because of the conditions that we were facing in the creek, we don't have our large boat out there to find things. So we have a smaller John boat. And fortunately, one of our members has a very rigged up kayak that has a, a live scanning radar system. Christina remembers the last conversation she had with her dad before he went missing. I spoke to him Tuesday morning. Um, we were going to get breakfast. I work midnights, he works days, and we just missed each other. So we were going to reschedule breakfast for later in the week, and then that was our phone call. Shannon Potts helps coordinate the search and rescue effort and is asking a favor for those looking to volunteer. It would be most helpful to us if we don't have any children under age 18 at this point. Um, we also would like to ask people don't bring any extra animals with them that have not already uh, spoken to us. The family says they're so grateful to everyone who's given their time and resources to help bring him home. If he's no longer with us, we just want to give him what he deserves. He, he was a good man. He worked hard his whole life. He loved us with everything he has, and we we just want to find him. In addition to today's dive, there will be another search effort happening tomorrow with canines and horses. In North Tulsa, I'm Sharon Phillips, 2 News, Oklahoma.